Hello. Welcome to my channel once again. We're going to explore a fascinating subject today, the possible health issues related to ginger. Now, ginger is a common ingredient in many recipes and is frequently praised for its various health advantages, but as with anything, it's necessary to know the other side of the story as well. Now take a cup of tea, settle in, and let's get started. So, what exactly are we going to cover today? Well, we're going to dive into some of the potential side effects of consuming ginger, from digestive issues to allergic reactions. We'll also talk about important interactions ginger might have with certain medications, and I'll highlight some groups of people who should be particularly cautious when it comes to adding ginger to their diet. Trust me, you don't want to miss this, so stick around. Health problems and side effects. Let's take a closer look at some health problems and side effects that can come from consuming ginger. 1. Digestive issues. Ginger can sometimes cause digestive problems. For some people, eating ginger might lead to heartburn, which feels like a burning sensation in the chest. It can also cause stomach discomfort, making you feel like you have an upset stomach or even diarrhea, which means you have to go to the bathroom more often than usual. 2. Allergic reactions. Just like with many foods, some people can be allergic to ginger. If you're allergic, you might get a rash on your skin, feel itchy, or even have more severe reactions. It's important to watch out for these signs if you're trying ginger for the first time. 3. Blood thinning. Ginger has a natural ability to thin the blood. This can be dangerous for people who are already taking blood thinning medications like warfarin because it can increase the risk of bleeding. If you have a bleeding disorder, eating a lot of ginger might make it worse. 4. Gallbladder problems. If you have gallbladder disease, ginger can make your symptoms worse. The gallbladder helps with digestion, and ginger can sometimes cause it to work harder, leading to more pain and discomfort for those with existing gallbladder issues. 5. Lower blood pressure. Ginger can lower your blood pressure, which is usually good, but if your blood pressure is already low, it could make you feel dizzy or faint. This is something to be careful about, especially if you're on medications for blood pressure. While ginger has many health benefits, it's important to be aware of these potential side effects. Always listen to your body and consult with a healthcare provider if you have any concerns, especially if you have existing health conditions or are taking medications. If you found this video helpful and informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more health tips and advice. Who should avoid ginger? Now, let's talk about who should be careful with ginger or avoid it altogether. 1. Pregnant and breastfeeding women. While small amounts of ginger can help with morning sickness, large amounts might not be safe during pregnancy. It's always best to check with your doctor if you're pregnant or breastfeeding before using ginger regularly. 2. People with bleeding disorders. Since ginger can thin the blood, it's risky for people with bleeding disorders like hemophilia. It can make it harder for wounds to stop bleeding, which is dangerous for these individuals. 3. Individuals on blood thinners. If you're taking blood thinning medications, such as warfarin or aspirin, ginger can increase the risk of bleeding. It's important to talk to your healthcare provider before adding ginger to your diet if you're on these medications. 4. Those with gallbladder disease. People with gallbladder issues, like gallstones, should avoid ginger. It can stimulate bile production, which might worsen symptoms and cause more pain. 5. Individuals with low blood pressure. Ginger can lower blood pressure, which can be a problem for people who already have low blood pressure. It might make you feel dizzy or faint, so it's best to be cautious. 6. Diabetics on medication. Ginger can lower blood sugar levels. If you're taking medications to manage diabetes, ginger might interfere with them, causing your blood sugar to drop too low. Always consult your doctor before consuming ginger regularly. 7. People with upcoming surgery. If you have a surgery scheduled, it's recommended to avoid ginger for at least two weeks before the operation. Since ginger can thin your blood, it might increase the risk of bleeding during and after surgery. Use fresh ginger. Dietitians like Anna Thompson suggest using fresh ginger rather than supplements. 
Fresh ginger is less likely to cause issues and allows you to control the amount you consume more accurately. Many health experts agree that moderation is important when it comes to consuming ginger. Dr. Jane Smith, a nutritionist, suggests that while ginger can be beneficial, it's best to keep intake to about 1 to 2 grams per day to avoid side effects like digestive issues or blood thinning. When adding ginger to your diet, it's crucial to practice moderation. Start with small amounts, around 1 to 2 grams per day, to see how your body reacts. By using ginger in moderation, you can enjoy its benefits safely. And finally, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for watching my video. If you like this video, maybe you like my video on Top 10 Health Benefits of One Clove of Garlic. You can find the link at the end of this video and also in description. Thank you for your time.